I'm Danielle and I'm 18 and I have a question for you. How long will the sun burn? Hello, I'm Jeff De La Rosa, Managing Science Editor at Worldbook, and we're here at Adler Planetarium in Chicago to learn how long the sun will burn. The sun doesn't burn in the same way that we think fires burn here on Earth. Rather, in the core of the sun, atoms of hydrogen are smashed together to produce atoms of helium. This reaction, called nuclear fusion, re releases a tremendous amount of energy, and that energy becomes the heat and light that we see here on Earth. Evidence suggests that the sun has been fusing hydrogen for about 4.6 billion years, and it probably has enough hydrogen fuel in its core to continue doing so for the next 5 billion years. At that time, the fusion of hydrogen in the core will cease. Without the energy of fusion pushing outward, the core of the sun will begin to collapse. As it collapses, it will grow hot, and hydrogen fusion will begin again this time in a thin shell surrounding the core. This will produce even more energy than the fusion in the core did, and the sun will expand greatly. If human beings are still around five billion years from now, things on Earth will be heating up around this point, as the sun turns into a giant star called a red giant. The sun will continue to burn as a red giant for about a billion more years. Then, it will slowly begin to cast off its outer layers, leaving behind a small, compact star called a white dwarf that will burn out over time. When the sun finally does expand, things will get pretty hot on Earth. The oceans will evaporate, and the atmosphere will eventually be stripped away. Luckily, this won't happen for another five billion years, so there's no need to worry right now.